guy that uh, didn't show up for court, so we're just going to go out and try and arrest him. We uh, we have the paperwork, we have his uh, application. There were some addresses on there. If you saw previously, we made some phone calls to uh, his number, which has been disconnected. We made a call to the co-signer, who happens to be his girlfriend. Um, she didn't answer that. Um, we had her work number, but it was after hours. We made a call to the uh, other people listed as references on there, which include the girlfriend's brother, sister, and then uh, our subject's mother, but nobody answered their phones. Uh, we kind of want to be careful because he doesn't know yet that we're actively looking for him. So we haven't made any calls. All we've gone uh, Rita's gone out to the house for a little bit, a couple different times, and hasn't gotten anything. Um, I kind of have a feeling that because the number was disconnected, he's not going to be there anymore. Um, they've been out a couple different times and haven't seen anybody. Haven't seen the vehicle associated with the co-signer, which is also associated with him. So, um, we're just going to hit it. If nobody's there, then we'll talk to the neighbors. If there's, uh, if there are people there, we'll find out whether our subject's moved or not. I guess the number just went uh, bad about two days ago, so that's not too bad. We'll we'll be able to find them pretty easy. Um, it's either discoed because he didn't pay his bill or he moved out of there, and. There's no way to tell. It's probably 50-50 on either one. It can get rough sometimes. Um, on this one, I don't think we're going to encounter a whole lot of resistance, but I don't know. But it can because uh, you've got somebody who doesn't want to go to jail, and they don't know how long they're going to be in jail, and there's a good likelihood that um, knowing that we're going to put them back in, they're not going to get out for a while. Well, everybody who misses court has an idea that we're after them. Uh, they, you know, they, everybody says, um, oh, I had no idea. Um, I didn't know I missed court. I didn't know you guys, you know, were looking for me. And that's bullshit because everybody knows. They miss court, you know. Just come out right behind me. Yeah, have, uh, have uh, Mark go around the right side, and, or, or one side, and Robin go around the other side. Oh, never mind. We're gonna let's let's just go hit it. I, I forgot. We're gonna hit the we're gonna hit the back where the guy is. Go after him. Robin and I are coming back up. In my opinion, that was it. Was, it was done. I, I usually like to take more time with it and go through it. We were kind of at the last minute on this, and um, I'd rather do a little more planning, a little more intelligence gathering, um, and be pretty sure before we just go running up like that. Yeah. 
Yeah, just go ahead and have a seat. Alrighty. Hey, thanks. So, are you good with everything else on this? Yeah, you're great. Okay. Alrighty. Yeah, that went pretty smooth. Fortunately, he was there. Yeah, I mean, that's like the fifth time or sixth time I've been there because it's not too far from my house. Well, see, all you needed to do was go with me. If you go with me, he's going to be there. I know. I know. You went four or five times by yourself. You are a good luck charm. <laughs> The main thing was um, he was in his yard. We get him out of his yard to the front quick, make a determination of what we're going to do, get him frisked, get him in the car, and get out of there. The only things that we had were there were kids there, and he said, I've got my kids here. And uh, so we make arrangements. We make sure that there's an adult there with the kids. He said it was his, I think he said it was his sister-in-law, and she, I talked to her briefly. She's obviously an adult, so she can take care of the kids. He agreed it was okay. And uh, otherwise, we probably would have stayed until we got um, until we got somebody to take care of them. Um, Rita had called dispatch to let them know that we were out here and uh, going to make an arrest. And then now we're uh, on the way to the jail just to book them in. Everybody lies to you, and so you gotta just not take it personal and just expect that. And so you have to try and filter out some little elements of truth 